Welcome to Cooking Issues. This is Dave Arnold, your host of Cooking Issues, coming to you live on the Heritage Radio Network from Bushwick, Brooklyn at Roberta's Pizzeria almost every Tuesday from roughly 12 to roughly 12.45. We are an internet-based nonprofit radio station that does all food programming. Food is a way to talk about everything. You know, it's politics, it's culture, it's history, it's heritage, it's community. It's something that we all participate in. Joe Hanley wrote in, What's the best way to defrost hard frozen vac pack steak and chicken? What I like to do is figure out the answers to problems, solve problems. Uh, I like to learn things. And so the show allows me to learn while I'm answering people's uh, questions. So it's kind of a, a give and take with uh, the listeners. Like I get interesting ideas from them and hopefully they get interesting ideas from me. Caller, you're on the air. Yes, I know you're great love of cured uh, meat products and mm. I have I wanted to hear your personal just what your personal opinion would be there's such a convoluted argument between nitrates and nitrites and whether or not we should eat them in our cured products because carcinogenic what have you I'll get questions in from you know Australia New Zealand like uh, Germany South America and that's very gratifying and it's the one kind of advantage of you know modern era is that you can do something and whoever is no matter how kind of niche your uh, your content is you can hopefully find the you know the group of people who would be interested if the bacon is pink right if it's pink and stays pink when you cooked it ie ie if it is bacon right it has uh, nitrites in it so then the question is, where are you getting the nitrites from? Podcasts are getting really popular now. Everybody knows what a podcast is. Most of them are recorded in bedrooms, though, or like small little project studios. Being in a public space like Roberta's, I think, makes it a lot more fun. We're in two shipping containers in a restaurant <laughs> in Bushwick, um, so it's pretty unique. Well, I appreciate the uh, lively lunchtime discussion. Oh, well, thanks. Thanks for calling in. We do these shows live which is really fun because I think it kind of tricks the host and the guest into being a little more excited. And in the moment, if you say we're going live in five seconds, it totally changes the atmosphere in the room. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Sharp and Hot. I am your host, Chef Emily Peterson, broadcasting to you live from Roberta's Pizza in Bushwick, Brooklyn. This is episode number 86. We are up to 86. My producer, Anne, with me in the studio. How are you, Anne? Hey, how's it going? Heritage Radio Network is so special because, first of all, everyone's really smart and everyone's really cool and everyone that I have met is the friend that you want to have. And so if you love food, there's no tribe, you know, there's no fence around our tribe. I've learned that, <laughs> love that. bread people are like a whole, they're like cheese people or beer people, like they're right. a whole right. group of people. Um, and I'm just like dipping my toe into this universe and it's like, holy crap, there's a lot to know. Our goal is to get uh, Americans and the people around the world to be eating less factory farm foods and uh, to kind of break off the dependence of big corporations to kind of become independent of corporately traded companies. How can we help create a food world that's more sustainable? So looking at that for our planet, but also for our bodies. Um, so how do we kind of enhance kind of health outcomes for both, both the planet and both for our bodies? After centuries, almost since the settlement uh, of, of humanity with farms, there was all this knowledge and know-how being built up. And for the first time, sometime in the 1950s and 60s, it skipped a generation. And we were really at risk of losing all this biodiversity, but also all these skills. Saving seed used to be something that all of our ancestors knew how to do, and that was just part of agriculture. And we've gotten so far away from that um, give and take relationship with our food and with nature that um, now just the, all of that knowledge, which has now become proprietary in the, in the hands of corporations, mm -hmm. are not uh, available to your average farmer across the world. And that's not good for food security for any of us. And so this radio station, one of the most important things about it is that it is an archive, forever findable, 
on the internet. You're just a search away from hearing some of the most important food minds of a generation talk about things. And hopefully that'll be a record that will serve humanity and the public for centuries to come. Thank you so much for tuning into Sharp and Hot. Until next week, keep playing with fire and knives. (laughs) 